Welcome back. This is the second in a series of, uh, dem of demos on a, of new ray tracing software called Gemray, the Gemray test for Windows. And we're looking at the triple design here. Let me talk about stone color. This control here allows you to choose the color of the material. And uh, the default is kind of a purpley amethyst color. Let me go over and let's pick kind of a golden citrine color instead. So there's the same design rendered in um, in yellow, yellow material, citrine. You can also pick clear by dragging the little pointer here, little dot toward the middle, and then to to get uh, the material perfectly clear. These are the red, green, and blue components. You can click and drag one of the each of those, the red and the green and the blue, if necessary to get them all to be 1.0. When you get that, then you have a white or clear material. So this is the same same stone and clear. Next I'm going to pick a dark color. Let's pick a, a dark reddish brown, a smoky quartz color. Okay, there's a brown. Okay, you might notice these light areas here and here. That's where the stone windows, where light leaks through, where the light that you see is leaking through from the back. Uh, the background color is just used to set the color of the stone outside the margin, the color of the screen outside the margin of the gemstone. So here I picked kind of a aqua color. And then finally the leak color is um, just for light that leaks from the bottom of the stone. Here I'm going to set that to red so I can maybe see that a little more clearly. Typically, the most natural result occur happens whenever you set the leak color equal to the background color, or approximately so. But in this case, we just want to highlight the places on the stone where, where it's windowing, where it's leaking. You can see that that's mostly here under the table, but there also is significant leakage up here in the margin of the stone outside the table. Another thing to notice is note is that the leak color is only for the random light model. If you change to one of the other light models, the leak's going to be shown in black. So that's kind of a summary of the of the color. Let me show you what it looks like again with the leak color about the same as the background color. So you can see that the leak color is still, it's green here and it's much bluer here. That's because the color, the body color of the gemstone is obscuring, is ch filtering that light. Okay, let's, uh, now let's go just all the way black with the material and show you what that looks like. Okay, there's no light return from inside the stone, but you can still see several things going on here. We've got um, some surface reflections off of the facets and that's from the from the spotlights in the model. Okay, that explains how to change colors and what those colors are for. I'll just end the program here and that will get us back to the defaults for the next lesson.